Welcome back everyone to another Trias update. Now, it's incredible that we finally broke through the cell wall and have managed to reach our previous range high over here, the 1414. And now, if you remember, we were con uh, consistently saying that we wanted to hold this $12.30 area of support. It's the first touch of support when we met this resistance. And so going forward, if we ever want to push through this level, we need to maintain this. So if we go ahead and lose $12.30, we're not looking for the break of this level for now. Doesn't mean it can't happen in the future. It just means if we're losing this, the next move is not a break of the high. The next move is of course, continuation low, but that if we ever reclaim $12.30, we're looking to eventually break this high. Now it has taken some months for all of this to come true, but I've been saying it absolutely every single day. Many of you guys, course stuck around and and chose to believe in it and it came true a lot of people would have just watched the video once it didn't happen the next day and then they just hate but things and setups can take months to happen and of course it's now come true so we have broken out of this inverse head and shoulders pattern and we're on our way to the target which is actually around 20 dollars but as you can see this target is above our high and if we break through the 1414, we expect the 1618, $26. So that's why we've been talking about $26 for, I don't even know how long now. And also the fact that when we lost this low, I said that $10 would become our support and that the wick down here at $9.2628 needed to be lost with body candle closes in order to get a deeper correction that anyways would have just served as a better op opportunity to get Trias cheaper. It didn't come. I was lucky enough to tell you guys that uh, we did not lose this low and I, that I was expecting $12.30 to be reclaimed and $26 as our next target all the way down from this $9.28 price because if we're not losing it, we're not continuing down. So we're going up. And from right there, we are up 74% and then to the $26 target, a 180% move. Now, if you took advantage of uh, this uh, breakout, let's just go from the 20 moving average when it was support, this is sitting at about 20% profit with that $26 uh, dollar target being 100%. And this is what we've been actually calling for the past couple of weeks. We were saying, we're waiting for this 100% move given here free on the channel. So make sure you do like, subscribe, comment, and share so we can hit 10k as quick as possible. It just takes a second and it's much appreciated. We have to fight the algorithm on a daily basis. Now, uh, I've had a question today or a couple questions over the past few days of what I'm going to do at this price point. Guys, in the grand scheme of things, this is so totally irrelevant. Like we're going to see Trias where it could be moving um, this amount in days. You know what I mean? In the future though, we're very early on into our journey. And uh, it's quite lucky that we've been involved uh, early on before the break of this four to four dollar fifty high. So this is what our seventeen dollar high here is essentially acting like. And what was I saying down over here? There were certain supports that needed to hold. As long as those supports hold, we will break through eventually. It's the same in this area. We had two levels hold above $12.30, you know, just so we can instantly go ahead and break it. But it, we can deviate from this path and still go back onto it later if we lose this $12.30 low. We lost it, reclaimed it, confirmed it as support. And this is when I was telling you guys, while a lot of people are losing patience and asking me what is going on with Trias, is it worth holding anymore? Like, what is this mentality, guys? Come on. You, if, if you're saying those sorts of things, you don't know what you're holding. I personally know what, what I'm holding and I know that most of you do. So we would know that all of this is just a, a period of consolidation that you use as opportunity to grab some more Trias while it is low. The fact that KuCoin was purposely keeping it under $14, I was telling you guys, use this as an opportunity because once we bust through, we're flying. Look at what's happened. If we go to the 15 minute time frame when we were analyzing it on down over there, if you remember this range, remember we were looking at that manipulation over here and I was saying that $13.30 needs to hold and that was around uh, this area over here. And then we held that level, broke through 14 and look at the moves that we got and you can see over here, this acted like a magnet. So once we broke a resistance, this acted like a magnet. Go back to the daily, what's our current resistance? 
it is this level. And so once that is broken, we have our magnet. Thank you so much for tuning in. Check out the Discord community. Uh, yeah, please do get involved over there. We would love you guys to tune into our, our exclusive live streams weekly. And you have access to all these cryptos a lot earlier uh, than the YouTube, of course. Uh, if you want further support, I'm in there as well daily. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I'll catch you over there. Links down below. Cheers, everyone.